So, after I had to wait an extra two and a half hours for this hello right here, you know, I tried to bust it out. I did about 100 miles. I only had, I only had like two hours left. So, I did it like 100 miles and made it to this place because the next place I can get to was like 33 miles away. So, I'm doing my post trip inspection, right? Then I get down here, see this cap right there? Yeah. So, it's leaking. It's air leak. So, it's loose too. In here, see how it is, it's loose. So it's loose, and I don't know if it's the cap or that seal around, or the seal around the cap. So the only good thing is, you know, I'm where I'm supposed to be at for the night and that on the side of the road, you know. So I like to do my little walk around on the post trip. Yeah, here. Got this a pilot. So, so yeah, man. And it happened on my way coming here because I checked it out at the facility. I had checked it out, and it was fine. So, it had happened on the way coming up here. So, I'm just like, man. But, I'm down for my 10 hour. So, I'm taking my little 10 hour break. So, of course, you know, it's going to take them about two, three hours to get out here. Maybe take more because I'm out in the middle of nowhere, y'all. When I say I'm out in the middle of nowhere, I am out in the middle of nowhere. I was happy to find this in pilot. My initial plan, I was supposed to be in about another 100 miles up the road, but with this being, you know, me being like two and a half hours behind before I could even get this in trailer, I had to do another trip plan and yeah. you know I had to look at my map and everything y'all y'all need to get y'all a little atlas man really need to get y'all atlas and then for a Warner drivers I can't say this for other companies but we have a fuel book so in that fuel book with the map you can see where you're going and you can see different fuel stops authorized fuel stops you can see which can help you out but I also use this app called trucker path because Warner app is only going to show you um, just the authorized Warner stops trucker path will show you all the stops you know all places where uh, you can potentially park it um, I try to park at uh, the rest areas or way stations are my first two, two choices after that it's a truck stop after that because people don't know how to drive at truck stops you can be sleeping man and they hit your truck you're like man what is going on here you just start shaking so now I got to wait on the tired people to come and fix that or do whatever they're going to do with it I mean I don't know that's that's going to be the first for me I'm going, I'm going to learn something like I'm going to learn how to fix it if it's something that I can fix myself I know how to take the flex hoses off 
I do know how to do that. And then they only cost about like $12, $13 from a T8 or something like that. So that's not a biggie, you know. I mean, those are easy to unscrew and to screw back on. So I know how to do those with the flex hoses and stuff, but that flex hose that it connects to that piece, that cap. So I don't know if it's a seal inside that cap as well that could just be broke and they have to replace the seal and if that's supposed to screw if it's supposed to turn i mean i don't know it's supposed to turn but it took me a while to figure out where the air was coming from so i got to deal with that as well but luckily i can get back on the road um uh, in the morning about 8 15 i can start back going again my time comes back at um like 7 58 10 hours uh, come back you know because I can do another uh, pre-trip and stuff inside the morning make sure we, we good to go to go with this but man yeah it's like whoo my day my day my day that's why these post trips is important now I do it quick I, I really do I'm not going to check the inside of my engine or anything like that until the morning time Okay, but what I do do, I check all my hoses, I check all my lights, I check all my tires, I check all my brakes. So I do, I, I that's what I do. Okay, I don't do a full pre-trip all of that to the morning time. At night time, especially when it's late at night, that's what I do. I walk around, I look at, I'm looking at my brakes, I'm looking at my tires, I'm checking all my um, hoses, my airlines, I'm checking all my lights making sure all that is good to go okay because like again i found an air leak you know that's one good thing about it because you, you find an air leak now this has a tire pressure monitoring system on it it has a light when it gets too low that it's supposed to come on but i guess the leak is just going out kind of slow so you really are not going to see it but what happens is if you don't catch it in time it could possibly blow up on you things like that so you don't want that to happen but like I say I always try to do that post trip man because it, it really could help you I don't look at the engine or nothing like that until the morning time though um, um, the last time I did that was about three and a half years ago I was finished my tire walk and I was like okay let me look inside my engine you know because you're still checking for any leaks or anything like that too well while I was doing that these three guys came up behind me and hit me in the back of my head and was trying to rob me and then I had to turn around with my mad light and I just started swinging the mad light and I started fighting then other truckers start yelling and they came up the truck but then, and then the guys took off. I wound up with a black eye, a busted nose and a, uh, a bus lip because they were trying to rob me. I found out the same three guys been robbing other truckers throughout that 95 uh, corridor in the area that they already have done and the police was all um, looking for them. so that's why I don't I don't try to stay out there too long I just try to do what I need to do and then get back because the only thing I have in my hand is that big you know mag light so it is what it is man so that's why I just try to hurry up as soon as I part I get out and I do it as soon as I part okay so as soon as you part just get out and go around and look because you can look at the brakes you can look at all that I'm checking to see if there are any cracks inside the brakes because you can check to see the thickness of the brakes it, it, they're not going to go down like that in one day so you really just check it to make sure number one that your brakes are still there and they don't have any cracks or they're not even broken or anything like that okay and then I'm checking my tires, make sure I don't have no nails, make sure I don't have no air leaks, make sure they're good to go, make sure tread and stuff is not coming out. So I try to make sure all that is going in. Okay, and then I'm back inside the truck. In the morning time, I check the uh, the tire pressure. I do that in, in the morning time. I'm just trying to make sure that the tires are still aired up and then they're ready to go. I still got tread, I still got brakes, and we good to go. All right, so. Y'all have a great one, man. I, I know, man. They've done some videos all in the same day, right? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. All right, man. Y'all be safe.